Okay, uh, gonna talk about the World Economic Forum, right? The WEF. And there's this quote that they often uh, put out there that I see that says, in the, in the future you will own nothing and you will be happy. Now, the first reaction people have to this is, is bullshit, right? They, they say, if I can't own anything, I'll never be happy. There's no way, right? Now, why do people think this? Why do people attach ownership to happiness? We need to really zero in on this phenomenon because it's very, very important. So, when you own things, it enables you to create security for yourself, right? You feel safe. You feel like you're insulated from the woes of scarcity, right? Whereas if you hand the ownership over to some globalistic cabal, like, like some people accuse the WEF of being, then you get rid of that you get rid of your security right and in effect you hand over all the control to that that cabal and, and probably devolve into authoritarianism right so what's what's the problem with this logic well here's the thing when you enable ownership you enable the middle class to you enable certain people in the middle class to break out of the middle class you enable them to become the Jeff Bezoses of the world. If you enable people to own things, you enable this insane excess that Jeff Bezos has, right? You know, and guess what? He doesn't pay his employees well at all. He, he treats his employees like crap. So there's so much excess on Jeff Bezos' part that he's creating scarcity. And ultimately, your reason for desiring to own things is to protect yourself from the scarcity. But remember, the ownership enabled the greed. The greed caused the scarcity. And you are justifying, or rather, you, are, you want to own things because you want to insulate yourself from the scarcity. So, ownership is actually the problem here. If, if we, the, the economic structures we have now, the reason we crash, the, ec the economy crashes every 10 to 20 years or five to ten years is because we enable ownership and that ownership creates economic inequality it creates wealth inequality and then we put band-aids on that wealth inequality and then you know the capitalistic market adjusts to those band-aids it raises way or, or rather you know it raises prices inflates the prices and then you know wages stagnate and eventually there's an economic crash and then again we just repeat this cycle ownership is actually the problem in all of this okay when you justify your need to own things because you fear scarcity you enable the Jeff Bezos of the world you enable greed you enable excess and that excess enables the lower class and the, 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 the scarcity in the lower class and again if you justify your need for ownership due to the woes of scarcity you enable more scarcity <laughs> and uh, this is again this is why the economy is unstable this is why it crashes every 10 years so alternatively if we were ever to create a utopia on this planet it would be through uh, the basically by ending the ownership of everything and what would that look like well it would look like a socialistic uh, society where there where class consciousness is so high that in effect everyone it democratically owns everything and the result of that is we the exploitation of labor stops okay and the society democratically owns the means of production now this is what socialism is now that doesn't mean that you can't have capitalistic markets competing okay socialism com and, ca and uh, capitalism are not opposed to each other Rather, capitalism just, it, what capitalism does is it organizes markets to compete against each other. And that competition drives improvements in technology, right? That, that's good, we want that competition. But socialism is like a magnitude of class consciousness or a magnitude of collectivism, you could say. And as that class consciousness, as that socialism rises, what happens is the working class, the middle and lower class, they just claim the true value of their labor and the wealth inequality eases, okay? Capitalism does not, does not distinguish or it doesn't uh, make any distinctions on who gets the profits that are created in that capitalistic system 
it just creates the profits. It just organizes markets against each other. Socialism, okay, the magnitude of class consciousness determines how those profits are distributed. So if class consciousness is low, and we're busy being divided along racial, uh, political, you know, social, cultural, and religious divides, then the owners are going to take all of the profits for themselves rather than distribute them to the employees. If class consciousness is high, then people create labor unions and strikes, and they take the true value of their labor, and they end the exploitation of their labor. So, again, this is this is a concept that you need to understand because it's ultimately ownership. It's it, ownership is what enables excess and enables the scarcity, and that scarcity is what enables you to use your own fears to justify the need to own things. Again, if there was ever a utopia on this planet, it will be through a, a lack of ownership, rather through a democratically owned means of production. That is socialism. That is high class consciousness. On the other hand, what communism is, is a centralized authority controlling the means of production. Now, this can work perhaps for a little while, but eventually, I think the people in control are going to get power hungry, and that's when you fade into authoritarianism. So if you don't centralize the authority, and again, keep it democratically, uh, and keep the uh, means of production democratically controlled, then you remain in this high-class, conscious, socialistic society that can still operate within, capitalistic, within a capitalistic economy. Think about this, okay? Give that a little thought. We need to understand what ownership is actually causing, okay? If you feel the need to own things, it's because you fear what happens when you don't own things, and you fear the scarcity that comes from not owning things. And that scarcity is driven by other people who are simply better at owning things than you are. So, think about that. Thanks for watching.